Hey folks, this is allaboutandroids.com. Before we begin, we would like to thank all the users for subscribing and watching our videos. We have reached 204 subscribers and over 96,000 views. Woohoo! Which is awesome. So thanks. So let's begin. Today uh, we have Ordroid 1.9.1. And the last time we reviewed Ordroid, it was 1.7.1. And there have been major changes and improvements to the ROM. <laughs> so for one thing, uh, this ROM includes the latest uh, brick kernel, which is uh, 0 0.6, version 0 0.6. And uh, this version of uh, brick kernel lets you rename your ROM and set frequencies. For example, I have the ROM right here on my computer and what you can do is set your own values here so maximum frequency minimum frequency the governor on demand or power save or performance and maximum frequency with your screen off so you could tweak all these values and once you flash your ROM the uh, kernel will obey and set those frequencies to your CPU which is Pretty nice, done by Brick. I thank him for that. So now, when booting up the phone, uh, when booting up the phone, when flashing the uh, ROM, all the apps are zip aligned. You will also see a message that says Android is up upgrading, which basically odexes all of your apps which is an optimization. You will also notice uh, redesigned HTC Sensation boot animation based on the HTC One series. So, like I said, this ROM has many fixes, such as a fully functional camcorder and camera, and you also have uh, the option of uh, landscape, which is kind of cool. I don't know if you can see it properly. So you can landscape now and all of the camera features over here work, all the effects, the gallery button works, all of the settings over here you could record full 1080p. The uh, add-on for the 20 megabits per second is also added, uh, 1080p recording at 10, 20 megabits, Very, it's a uh, very you know, high quality recording. We'll include a link below and also on XDA you can find an add-on uh, for the 40 megabits 1080p recording. So in our last release, uh, Beats Audio didn't work. That also works now. And um, you also have the option of adding the Sony Bravia engine when you are installing the ROM. And the last release had a keyboard issue where if I was to go into messages. Um, there was uh, first of all there was no dictionary. Now there is a uh, dictionary included. The, it's not perfect yet. Like if I click here, you don't see all of the languages. But now it has uh, English as well as multi-language support for the keyboard. As you can see, if as I'm clicking here, it's changing languages. I don't like that. When I click here, I want to see all of the languages and choose English, for example. If you want to change the language or select which languages you want for your keyboard, you can go into language and settings, HTC Sense input, and international keyboard. All of these languages are available in this ROM, so you could spell check, autocorrect while texting. So one major change uh, in this ROM, uh, well two actually, is that uh, the mapping for the home button and the search button. So if you hold down the home button, you actually see recent apps now. And holding down the search button will actually search. So for example here, complete this action using the search button. Okay, so another cool feature that comes default by this ROM is the wake up keys. So you could wake your phone using the volume keys. Just do remember that when you do flash this ROM that uh, you go into display and you uh, 
put sleep to 30 seconds or whatever you like it comes default by 10 minutes and with the volume keys that's gonna waste a lot of batteries if it's in your pocket and your volume keys get pressed your phone will be on for 10 minutes and change that so this has been all about Android.com. thanks for watching please like comment and subscribe we'd really appreciate it we also have a facebook account a google plus account as well as a twitter add us there thanks again